So there's some footage here that I want to show you to explain what I mean about tautness. Everything is stretched out basically as long as it could be. It's piece by piece teaching on how to hold different, um, different portions of your body properly. Morning Trainiacs. It is currently minus 13. 5.46 in the morning and we are locked out of Pan Am Pool. It's the tundra out there. I joke about being on the frozen tundra, but we are on the frozen tundra. All right, I'm going out there. Wish me luck. <laughs> so later today, we are doing a podcast interview with Jerry Rodriguez and doing research yesterday. I gleamed a couple of really good tips about Hotness. Hotness. We'll talk about that after a swim game. Yeah. So there's some footage here that I want to show you to explain what I mean about hotness before we get into what Jerry Rodriguez is talking about. Here we've got footage of Trevor from our swim group who is around I think just under a 5 minute 30 second per 400 meter time trial. I on the bottom am about a 6 minute 9 second. Seems like that 39 seconds is not a huge deal but when you get into a race He's going to be somewhere around a minute to two minutes faster than I am, even in a wetsuit. Take out a wetsuit and just do a non-wetsuit swim, he's going to be like well into that two minutes because he's just a better swimmer. He's constantly going past me. And what we can look at here is we've got a side-on angle. If you look at Trevor from the foot to the fingertips, everything is stretched out basically as long as it could be. His leg is almost straight here, his body is really stretched out, his arm is way in front of him, whereas my leg, even though I'm kicking here, you can see that it's not like I'm really trying to be long and lean. My body has this V shape, so I'm not stretched out as long as he is. My arm same thing I'm kind of tucking it in and he is I want to say three or four inches taller than I am but from foot to fingertips his vessel like the entire length of his body is probably stretched out more than a foot longer and we can see it from the other angle to here where my feet are just a little bit cut off so I wouldn't be quite so far in behind him but you can see that there's probably a difference of 12 to 14 inches. And in real life, what this means is, let's say you had in a water on one side of you, a long, stiff, straight log that was floating in the water. On the other side of you is a pool noodle. Even though the pool noodle weighs so much less, if you try to push the log, it flies. You try to push the pool noodle, basically doesn't go anywhere because something that is all wiggly creates a ton of drag. So what Jerry Rodriguez talks about is having tautness in your body, strengthening your core so that you can get long and limber and stretch out. And how hydrodynamics works, basically the drag of our body interacts with the water, it's like aerodynamics but in the water, the longer a vessel is, the faster it's gonna be in the water. So the two drills that Jerry recommends to improve your tautness is one, vertical kicking. And you can start out with as little as 15 seconds. And what that does is you'll feel it instantly is you'll feel your body elongate and you'll feel tightness right here in your solar plexus and on the side, you'll feel your body starting to pull itself because it's really got no choice. What I then did was after about 15 seconds of vertical kicking, I'd start kicking towards my stomach, holding that feeling in my stomach and my core as well as I could, and it allowed me to get the sensation of what a long, taut vessel is like. 
The second thing that he recommends, I've been talking about for the last few weeks, but I've never thought about it in regards to this, is kicking with a snorkel on. Now, as opposed to kicking to practice your kick and propulsion where for most of us age groupers, because we don't have flexible ankles, if we developed an awesome kick, it might amount to 10 to 12% of our total propulsion. However, if we can use that kick to practice the feeling of long tautness by having a snorkel, stretching a kickboard way out in front of us and keeping our body nice and elongated, that's a way that we can practice being taut. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually let you hear it from the horse's mouth himself, right from the man. We're gonna get Jerry Rodriguez on a video after we do our podcast and you can hear him explain tautness. Taut, taut, I like the sounds of that. Tautness. Which I think most recently, your special project has been Lionel Sanders, uh, who has obviously been a- A name a few people might have heard. Name a few people might have heard. So we're here with Jerry, we just did the, the podcast and uh, as I just mentioned before, I've been talking about tautness, your concept about uh, structure and posture in the water since listening to your podcast about it yesterday. Um, probably just easiest if you explain what tautness is and uh, how people can work on it. Tautness is the body's structural integrity and how we hold a posture in the water when swimming. The thing is it's difficult to do or more difficult to do in water than it is on land because of the heavy subsidy of your weight. Once in water, a person's weight is displaced quite a bit and it's a lot easier to sort of get slouchy or scrunchy in the water. So we have to learn how to hold ourselves properly. So we need to do a number of things in, um, in training in, in the swimming pool to have the body recognize and the mind especially what you need to be thinking about while swimming. And it starts off with that foundation, which is tautness. How do you hold yourself properly? You know, you can have all the, um, all the power in the world, but if, you're, if your uh, structural integrity is really loose, that power is displaced in lots of different ways. It's not going where you want it to go. As an example, you know those little toys that kids have? Long, skinny uh, torpedo. Okay, yeah. And they're, they're firm in structure, right? And they have the little wings at the back, and you push them on the water, and they go really fast. Remember as a little kid playing with those things? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a reason why they go really fast, and they go fast because of how they're shaped and the structural integrity that they have to them. If those things were soft and pliable, they wouldn't go very fast on the water. So the couple of drills that I tried out today that you had recommended, one is the vertical kicking, and the second was kicking with a, a snorkel, but not for propulsion or working on your kick, but for body position and feeling that, that long stretched out position. Is there anything else that swimmers should be working on? I believe it's in podcast number 41 or 42, where we're really going to a step-by-step -step breakdown on how to achieve tautness because you're not going to get it in one session. This is several weeks and you need to progress through it. So it'll start off with simple kicking with fins and learning how to hold your upper body properly and not have any uh, rocking of the shoulders. And it's piece by piece teaching on how to hold different um, different portions of your body properly. So very progressive in, in nature. So there you go, tautness.